Hey everyone, this is Freddie with Superbike Unlimited and I'm bringing you another update on our 2019 ZX10 RR Superbike project. So, we were planning on doing a track day with uh, Sport Bike Track Time at Talladega GP this weekend, but um, on one of the forums that we posted the bike build, uh, we had somebody suggest that we come race this bike with a road racing organization called FMRRA at Roebling Road. So we basically just decided, you know what, that sounds like a lot of fun, let's pack this thing up and head over there. And uh, so here we are. You can tell that we're rolling because one, the trailer is already completely filthy, and two, because we are melting. It is, we've got the AC on full blast in this thing, and it is crazy hot here. It's like 95 degrees with a 70% humidity. Um, so we're already burning up. It's gonna be a crazy weekend, so we've, uh, Done a little bit of engine development on the ZX-10, which we haven't gone into yet. We're, I'm, we're gonna try to make a video about that, as you can tell, uh, those of you who've been watching, I'm absolutely horrible at making these vlogs. So, um, you know, bear with me, but uh, we're definitely making some progress on the bike. And what we're gonna try to do is show you some video of uh, us racing this thing this weekend. We're, we're still kind of chipping away and trying different things with the Motex system, specifically on power delivery and traction control. It's a big part of this thing. So every time we go out, we're trying something new to see if we can make it better. and. And just essentially that system is so adjustable there's so many variables and parameters that you can change um, we're just trying things and just kind of determining what what feels best so um, that's what we're gonna be doing this weekend and hopefully we can have some good racing in the process and uh, and stay alive in this heat so I'm gonna be super it's gonna be kind of like a skeleton crew this weekend because it's really just myself and Eleanor um, so I don't know how much video I'm gonna be able to shoot between sessions and stuff like that but for sure we're gonna try to put this thing on the bike and at least get some laps for you guys. I know you've been wanting to see that, so we'll do our best to get some cool footage of the of the bike on track and so you can kind of see what it sounds like and how it looks. So uh, stay tuned, should be a fun weekend. Alright, so we're back from Roebling Road with FMRA and we had a pretty good weekend. Um, so you're going to see some footage of me riding the bike and of course we just had that footage of the start which was courtesy of uh, FMRA's Facebook page. Um, and now we're just kind of going through the bike and getting everything freshened up and ready for the next race weekend which we're planning on doing Barber Motorsports Park with Weira. Um, so we're kind of just doing some of the, some of the basic stuff, uh, checking out all the bearings and um, servicing the forks and you know just the usual stuff that we've got over here as you can see this is the uh the super bike fork that we use tyler's already done the uh the rebound side and then here's our um compression side give you a look at what the internal of a proper super bike fork looks like so yeah overall things went pretty well we didn't get a lot of time to work on chassis stuff so the uh some of the handling characteristics of the bike i would have liked to have improved but I was really there to focus primarily on the Motec stuff, which we made some pretty good progress on. We definitely tried a bunch of different things and found some things that worked and some things that didn't. So um, next I'll just show you some onboard laps and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy.
onboard footage from the ZX-10. Um, overall, we had a really good weekend racing with those guys. That was FMRRA again. And I gotta say, they put on a class act uh, event. It was really just, everybody was super nice, really well organized. Um, they had proper qualifying. They gridded in the same manner as professional with a staggered grid. Um, starting lights, which as you can see, that was my first time using them and I for sure blew my starts there. But overall, really good uh, weekend. Had a couple of wins and got a lot of work done. So it was really cool. There was a couple of curve balls thrown at us with the starting light and also we found out they use a spec fuel, which I did not know. They run Sunoco uh, Apex, I think it was, which is the old Motor America spec fuel. And uh, nothing wrong with that stuff, but it's not what we use. Normally we're running VP stuff. So it was uh, something that we had to kind of adapt to and do some logging on track and, and get our mapping a little bit dialed. It for sure was off with that because normally we run some stuff that's got a pretty high oxygen content, totally different octane rating, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, got that sorted out. And then of course, another thing is we were running Pirelli tires, which uh, uh, for those interested, I run an SC0 rear and an SC2 front typically. And of course, as always, those things stuck like glue and, and we had a great uh, result running those tires. So James Bach with Podium Motorsports is who gets us those. So one more thing before we sign off, I'm gonna show you our new body work. Um, this is actually stuff that we're not gonna be using initially. The rest of it's at the painter, but this is Lakamoto and the shape is exactly the same as what we've been using, but this is actually their Kevlar Superbike stuff. So this is the same type of, uh, manufacturing process that's used in MotoGP, World Superbike, and several teams in, in Moto America Superbike. So really nice because it's extremely light while at the same time being incredibly rigid and strong. So I can't wait to get this stuff on. We've had, uh, of course, the same kit since last year. That's actually the stuff we're running on our old bike. And it's definitely been through its paces. It's been down um, and uh, for sure just on and off enough times where it's time for it to be replaced. So... The, uh, the next thing for us is gonna be heading to Barber with Weira. So that's next. We'll try to uh, get some cool footage from that event and hopefully have a good showing. That track's been kind of tricky with some bad weather recently. So hopefully it's nice and dry, no weepers, and uh, we'll have a good turnout. So stay tuned. We'll have another video for you soon. Thanks for watching.